Well, I'm going to jump around because I think this is uh, pretty straightforward here. You've got that is f of x, that is g of x. You combine those together, there are no like terms. You have your x squared, you have your plus 3x, you have your minus 4, and you are done, my people. If you do this, you have f of x, which is, you know, I'll clean it up here, x squared minus 4, which is your f of x, minus g of x, which is 3x. So you're really only changing the sign of this. And the only difference then is uh, between the two is that the minus 3x is going to be, you know, negative x squared minus 3x uh, minus 4. So a uh, slight difference there. When you're multiplying, you're just multiplying. 3x actually is, your, I guess I'll stave off any confusion here. x squared minus 4 and then g of x is 3x. So I'm distributing the 3x to both items. 3x to the third power minus 12x. You know, f of x times f of x is x squared minus 4 and x squared minus 4. You're going to have to FOIL that. That's next to the fourth power. You go your outer and your inner, that's a minus 4x. It's another minus 4x because your outer is your minus 4x, your inner is a minus 4x. But then you've got this plus 16 thing, which is your last term, right? It's a plus because you're minus times your minus. x squared minus 8x plus 16 is your, is your answer.